Hello, Vortex. I see you there. I don't even have to look at you. And I still know that you're there. <laughs> oh. Speaking of God. <laughs> I have a pretty strong faith in God. And, uh... I think that the reason why I have such strong faith in God is because I have such little faith in modern society. I have such little faith in the world around me. I have such little faith in human beings that <laughs> I have an outrageous amount of faith in, in things that are unseen if you will. And like I've said before, I really hope you will. Because, <laughs> uh... I feel like there are those of us that can process these things that are unseen. And there are a lot of signs and there are a lot of symbols. And I guess regular as Earth people this stuff goes up and over them. But people such as yours truly, you know, it's just, this stuff is so obvious to us. I just had a very eventful morning with my mother. We got into a series of arguments it's fine though like you know it's crazy because I was just thinking about how like when I was younger like I could not get along with my parents at all you know like it was literally impossible to see eye to eye with them on anything and I don't just attribute this to like the transformation of my political beliefs because honestly I really don't think that they've transformed as much as I thought. <laughs> because, uh, hear that? Do you hear that? That's Fiona squeaking. Fiona is squeaking. Um, which is funny because I, I got brakes. I got new brakes. And it, it cost me a lot. And she still sounds like that. I don't know, maybe she's just PMSing. But anyway, um, well, the thing is, um, I really hate authority. And I really hate um, people that, you know, try to control your life, you know? And I, I feel like what the left and the right disagree on is, is forms of government, like what the government is, is supposed to do, okay? That, that's the whole argument. But they both believe in government, and they're both wrong. Because, uh, and people will fight me on this, but uh, I think that we could leave people up to their own devices, and our own devices will be better than what we've been offered by the long G, okay? And the fact that people don't have enough faith in themselves and just our ability to think things through and reason and plan and... Like, like Karl Marx would say, uh, to, to each according to his need or whatever, whatever the fuck he said. Um, <laughs> I feel like you can have that, that sort of, um, like, sort of collectivist mindset, but voluntarily. And I do not understand anybody that thinks that things should be mandatory. Like, anything. I don't, I don't care if it's, like, the best thing in the world. If it's the best thing in the world, it should speak for itself, you know? And people that don't see it that way will always be wrong. And you can say that I'm, I'm uh, biased for that. 
but that's a principle, okay? Anybody that wants to force another human being to do something, it doesn't matter if it's good for them or not. Nobody should ever be forced to do anything. And so they figured out a way to get people to do stuff that isn't smart. You know, it's through coercion, it's through shame, it's through guilt. These people are smart. They figured out there's nothing worse, especially for an American citizen, there's nothing worse than to have people think that we're wrong about something. To have people not understand our decision making or not understand our lifestyle. You know, I mean, the identity politics people really get it because they know how much people want to fit in. They know how much people want to be cool. And, you know, it's, it's just so stupid. Like, any way you look at it, it's stupid. Like, whether this is coming from the left or the right, it's stupid, stupid, stupid and illogical. And so that's why I'm saying like, you know, I thought I was on the left, went to the right, went back to the left, you know? I guess I'm in the middle. <laughs> when you can see the fallacy of both sides, that means that everybody will hate you. Because let's face it folks, there is nothing more offensive than being a libertarian. Um, <laughs> having principles that you stand by, that you stand by, that, that's, that's the most offensive thing ever. Because, uh, you know, people just, uh, they like to think that they have it right, but they don't have it right if they can't just allow somebody else to be wrong, you know? They can't even hear a different opinion. They can't even handle it. I mean, how right can these people possibly be, you know? Like, and, and you see it, you see it on, on all these different levels, you know? You see it with different... Um, decisions that, that get made, you know, like you see these people just act exactly the same as all the people they claim to hate. <laughs> it's just, it's coming from a different angle. So they think that it, they think that they're better. They think that they're above whoever they're, they're blaming all their problems on, you know, but it's all the same, it really is.